Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Brandon for VPN FTW and today I want to talk about something I want to call how to go ahead and de-google your Google Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and pop open my Google Chrome browser right here. And if you guys are like me, you may personally love Google Chrome, but just absolutely hate the just obliterating privacy settings of it. Now, there are many claims out there that literally anything you type in this top bar up here, Google is going to go ahead and log. And for the most part, that is actually true. But I don't think a lot of people actually understand that you can go ahead and change that. So I am a huge, huge, huge privacy activist and I actually just installed Google Chrome for the first time not too long ago. And I started looking at it and it seems that all these settings can automatically be changed right within the browser. So let's go ahead and check out how to de-google your Google Chrome. So when you guys go ahead and install your Google Chrome, uh, you guys can go ahead and click this button up here and go to your settings. And you guys can scroll down right here, go to click show advanced settings and privacy. This is going to be the tab you're going to want to look at. So by default, I think almost every single one of these is checked off. And this is why everything you do on Google Chrome is sent to Google. But as you can see, I've unchecked all these. And as I said, I'm a huge privacy activist. Literally a year ago, I wouldn't install anything Google even on my computer. Now I'm using Google Chrome. Absolutely crazy. But I went ahead and checked out their privacy settings and let's go ahead and take a look. So when you guys go ahead and have these things enabled, this is the reason everything is being sent to Google. When you guys use web servers to help resolve navigation errors, it says when you can't connect to a web page, you can get suggestions. So that means that Google is going to literally grab that web page and look for related web pages and then say, hey, is this what you're looking for? Um, so it's literally going to go ahead and reach out to Google with your direct URL. Use prediction service to help complete searches in URLs typed into the address bar. So it says these suggestions are based on related web searches, your browsing history, and popular websites. So this right here will go ahead and um, try to go ahead and predict what you're typing. So if you guys have ever started typing a question up here and it starts to go ahead and give you those predictions, that's what that is. Now moving on, use a prediction service to load pages more quickly. Now this one right here absolutely boggles my mind. So this one will actually go ahead and give Google Chrome the IP address of the website you're viewing. And then Google will go ahead and try to predict w the web pages that you want to view next by kind of preloading them and setting cookies all over the place. So it says if you turn this setting on websites that have embedded content that are preloaded may set and read their own cookies um, if you have visited them even if you don't. So that one right there just crazy to me. Uh, then moving on, automatically report details of possible se uh, security incidents. Again, uh, this one may be great. As you know, you guys can go ahead and send an incident to Google of something that happened on the web. But again, this says every time Chrome detects a suspicious download or website. So, oh, sorry. It says this data will be sent every time Chrome detects a suspicious download or website. So this is saying the data will be sent if something happens, but it already has to check against a predefined list. Now, moving on. Now, this one protect you and your device from dangerous sites or files. Now, this one you may think that you want to go ahead and have enabled because it's going to protect you from, you know, some kind of um, harmful site. But to be honest, I would definitely not recommend turning this one on. This is just another intrusive thing. And I've never really seen uh, Chrome actually block a harmful website before. Most scam websites websites um, I've never seen Chrome block you guys can just go ahead and use an add-on like you block origin that is much better uh, but to go ahead and protect your device what this will do is anytime you visit a website let's say like google.com it'll go ahead and send the top URL domain to them check against a predefined list and say hmm are any of these malicious or are they not now moving down the list use a web service to help resolve spelling errors now this is just another privacy obliterating setting to be uh, automatically enabled and it says this will go ahead and use the same spell checking technology in Chrome as in Google search. So anything that you type into Chrome, any error, it's going to go ahead and send it to Google servers and go ahead and let you use their spell tech technology. Again, you guys can just disable this and again, fix it with an add on like Grammarly, another just great add on that's not nearly as privacy intrusive. Now moving on, automatically send usage statistics and crash reports to Google. Guys, this should just honestly be common sense. Um, if you guys don't want to literally send anything to Google, any kind of statistics, anything, just disable that right away. And there is one thing that you guys are going to want to have checked off. You guys can go ahead and send a do not track request. Now, this is not going to go ahead and send anything to Google. So it says you can include a do not track request with your browsing traffic. However, many websites, you know, they still may not actually care. So that is uh, right there, how to de-Google Chrome your Chrome. So like I said, just a year ago, I would have never even touched Chrome. And one thing is do not log into Chrome up here. Don't do any of that. Just always enable uh, guest browsing, you know, clear your cache, history, all that, guys. 
You guys can go ahead and clear it up here. And I definitely recommend blocking those third party cookies as always. But guys, that right there is how to de Google your Google Chrome. And one more thing, if you guys want to truly de Google your Google Chrome, is you guys may actually need to change the search up here. What you guys can do is actually go ahead and change this to DuckDuckGo. So anytime you're typing in a URL up here, it's just going to go ahead and queue DuckDuckGo. If it actually sends the data or not, I'm not 100% sure. I think we turned all these settings off, but you know, you can never be 100% sure. So if you guys ever want to do that, just turn DuckDuckGo on. And if you guys want to make quick Google searches, you guys, all you have to do is type in exclamation mark G and it will literally redirect you to Google through DuckDuckGo. So that's one way, that's one more way to just go ahead and de-Google your Google Chrome. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new. Go ahead and choose your privacy settings, guys. Honestly, all this, you know, malware that it's going to go ahead and protect you from, it really doesn't. Just install uBlock Origin and install Grammarly for spell checking and you guys will go ahead and be safe. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys learned something new and I hope you guys are all staying secure out there.